Okay, so now it is time to talk about Power BI mobile, for the mobile devices, for these things. And uh, for this demo, I'm actually going to show you how it looks, because it is so much telling that me just going through a presentation. And let's, let's do that. Let, let me show you how it works. It's absolutely fantastic. Again, this is available for all Apple devices or iOS, Android devices, and for Windows 10, so Windows devices, okay? So just go to your store, download them, they're completely free, and start using them. So what we're going to do is we open the Power BI app, I have it here, and we're going to go through the different elements of the apps and Power BI mobile apps it looks very very similar to Power BI service. To be able to have reports in here you need to publish your report to the service or to the report server. Okay you need to ha have them in both places or in either place. So what you will find is first your name and then you will see workspacers, share with me apps and scanner. A scanner is a function that you can scan barcodes and then you will see a report in here about that specific product or machine or whatever it is. It's super cool. Um, if we go to workspaces, if you remember from the previous video, workspaces are containers for your report. So here you can see the workspaces I have. We're going to go to the north wind and there I have a dashboard and a report. Okay, I have both. So if we go first to the dashboard, you will see two tiles that I actually decided I wanted to have for this report. And you will see that there is a like a bubble, speech bubbles. If I click on there, I can actually ask questions to the data set without typing anything. This is absolutely amazing. Let's give it a go. I click on the microphone. Number of customers. Click send. And then we have 91 customers on that data set. Excellent. Let's do a little bit more complex search. We do it again. Number of customers, year 1996. Let's do it again. Number of customers, year 1996. Send, and let's see what it says. And it says the number of customers in 1996 is 60. And then it says, here are some insights I found. So it has an algorithm that goes and looks for insights in the data set. And you have that in Power BI service. Very, very powerful. Check it out. So you can go through the insights and actually click on them. Let's see that one. Show me insight three. And then you can see same period last year by date before 1997 and after 1996 is trending upwards. Some of these insights are not really useful because, you know, the machine algorithm doesn't really know what your data is about unless, you know, it understands words that you feed them. But that's, that's another tutorial for another day. But this is very, very powerful. You can actually type, you don't need to write, but it is, I mean, it works so well asking, you know, talking, so why not? So now that I show you that, you can do that only with dashboards, okay? So you have to create a dashboard to be able to do that. If we go back, we're going to look at the report. And we have one report. And I have created for the first page of that report, a mobile layout. That's why you see that it looks so good. You can, of course, it's fully interactive. You can click on it. And you can see that it's responding to everything. Absolutely fantastic. And then if you see those two pages, 
that shows me how many pages I have on the report and then you click on it, you can see them. And I'm going to go to product details and you will find this page. What it means is that there is no mobile report available and you have to actually turn this into landscape mode to be able to see the report. And now you can see it perfectly. You have the possibility to favor the report. You can also take notes, which is very, very useful. Let's say that I've looked into the report and I say, oh, uh, let's see, check sales may. And I can send this to my team with my comments, as you can see. So it is very, very powerful. Like you can just work everywhere and see, oh, there's something wrong with the budget. We should take a look at that. And then you can send it to your analyst or your to product managers, whoever needs to know. Really, really, really powerful. So then you have, of course, your apps. You can go and check those out if somebody has taken up with you. These are the main features for the mobile app. So let's do a recap of the mobile features. The first one that I haven't mentioned yet is you can view your mobile report offline. You might think that you can, but you can. What you need to do is you have to view them first. And then when you go offline, Power BI will store a cached version of them on your phone. So you can view them when you are offline. This is useful, for example, if you're traveling and you still want to review your report or you are in locations where there is no connectivity. It happens in a lot of places. It's very, very useful. Second feature that I showed you, Q&A, questions and answers. You can actually ask your data set questions and it will give you the results. It's fairly good with simple questions. Try it. Or you can actually write them down if you want to. Either way, works very well. Feature number three, you can actually take notes, you saw it, and send it to your team at any time. You just go, you review your report, and you can celebrate your growth sales because you're using data, for example. So you have a lot of possibilities. And remember, if you want to have layout, mobile layout reports, you need to create them. You need to create them for, you know, you need to create them on Power BI Desktop for the report or you need to create them on Power BI service for the dashboard. Otherwise, you will have to just do the landscape thing and then you will be able to see the report either way. So, your data on the go. What else can you need?